Hi, everyone. Mm. I don't want to hear myself talk over here. Hold on, I got to turn it down. I hope I can. I think I am. Not really. Okay, anyway. I'm just going to have to hear my health. Hear myself talk, I guess. This is a new program. You're going to have to deal with it. I don't know. I can deal with it. I got to turn myself down over here. Come on, be quiet. Okay, anyway. I'll deal. It's the first time. <laughs> I don't like hearing my voice say something over here while I'm saying it over here. Anyway. Um, hey, everyone. I'm going to try doing a live demo tonight. So, uh, little demo. Um, I'll make my demo screen bigger, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much why I'm on here and, uh, it's going to be in pastel. I'm going to start from the get go of, I really don't like to hear the delayed talk. Does anyone know how to like get rid of that? Um, maybe if I maybe take the, <laughs> the speak shot, maybe that'll work. Anyway, um, I'm going to start talking about what colors I'm going to use, what paper I'm going to use. Um, I'm gonna do all the things. So uh, I hope to make this kind of like, not so much a regular Tuesday thing, but I do offer a couple of one day workshops, one night, two hour tape workshops on Tuesday evenings. So I have that ability now. I'm literally taping my, literally taping my speakers. So it's quieter over here. I don't know if it's gonna work. We're gonna find out. It doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> anyway. I think we are ready to start. So I'm going to actually make this bigger. Hold on. Let's, I'm going to say bye. You're going to go over there and you're going to watch the demo screen. Okay. So I'll see you in a little bit. Here I am. Ooh. Hold on. Okay. Pretty sure everyone, if you can hear me, bear with me. For those of you that are joining me, <laughs> just, just type something in the chat and let me know if you can hear me, okay? Because that would be pointless if you can't hear me. <laughs> so just say, I can hear you in the comments. That would be fantastic. Such a huge help. Please and thank you in advance. All right. So, okay. I am a part of an amazing Facebook group. If you are an artist and have not joined this Facebook group, it is called Landscape Reference Photos for Artists. And what it is is that there's a bunch of wonderful photographers and other amazing people that will upload their photos and they want their artist friends to do them. So I love that because they are open to us creating them. So this one's done by a guy named Jeff Jarvis. I just friend requested you, Jeff. I'm, I don't know if he's going to watch this, but anyway. So he does these amazing, beautiful pictures. And I actually did another one of his this morning, not this morning, this afternoon for a um, class demo that I did over at CCA. So thank you, Donna, for letting me know. Um, so this is just, is, is this not just gorgeous, right? Okay. So I don't know about you, but it is raining a storm right here right now. And uh, yeah, so that's fun. So I'm going to actually, would you guys like to see the reference photo while I do it? I just hate how it's so far away. Maybe I'll zoom out sometimes and like zoom in sometimes. So anyway, all right, let's pick out some colors. So I'm going to find, let's look at my pastel box. Whoop, there it is, friends. I'm going to get the hang of this eventually, and I promise. Okay, so I always pull out some of my go-tos. Now, mine are all mixed, um, hard and soft pastels. I'm going to pull out, yes, guys, this is, this is, this is a black. Okay. I'm going to pull out a black. I don't use it often, but I do use it. I am not anti using this. I know some people are like, no, don't use the black, but you know what? You do you, I do me. Okay. So, um, I'm going to pull out my black. I'm going to definitely pull out my favorite. Oh, I don't think I used this color today actually at all. My favorite. This is by New Pastel. Now you can't open, you can't buy open stock New Pastels anymore, but this is called, um, it's called technically blue violet, but it's the number 244. It's one of my favorites. Love, love, love it. And it's just great. So definitely if you have a new pastel set, love that color because it's amazing. Okay. There's definitely that always in everything. So I see a bunch of blues, 
This is how I clean them. I don't clean them when I put them away. I'm like the worst example of like what to do, <laughs> but it works. Everyone knows my, my skill set with, uh, with speaking in technical terms. So you'll get to know me pretty well. If you don't know that my made up jargon of crazy words. Um, Okay, what other colors do I want to get? I always kind of like go back and forth and hover. This is one of the most important parts, guys. You have to know how to pick your colors and why and all the things. So like I said, I have my hard and soft combined and I'm one of those pastelists that I don't even know if I would, cons I mean, I like pastel. I don't know if I'm like fancy, fancy pastelist, but I just love pastel. And if you want to call me a pastelist, that's great. I feel like I like everything, so I can just be in everything. Anyway, um... I know that technically there's a rule that says you have to do hard pastel first and then soft pastel on top. But you know what? I do whatever layer I want. I'm mindful of what I'm putting down. Now, I'm also working on pastel matte paper. That is this bad boy right here. Oh, forgot my camera's up here. Pastel matte. Okay. Donna, let me know if I get glitchy or anything. You're going to be my go-to gal. Okay. Um, pastel matte is magic paper. Okay. If you have not experienced magic paper, friends, please go experience. For those of you that have taken my class, you know, you know, I will not let you not have the magic paper. Okay. So we have so far here, I'm going to come down here so you can see all my colors so far. We have some really nice mauves and some peaches and some browns. I got this like beautiful kind of like burnt sienna color there. Um, I see a lot of colors, guys, and I always do see a lot of colors. It's great. So we have a little mauve -y stuff. I spy with my little eye. We're going to pull out a cream over here. You know what color I never really have is this one. This is my little, you can't see it. It's like a, it's like a true khaki color, okay? It's a nice khaki color there. Um, definitely white. I want to pull out white. Now, I have two options. I could use a big chunky white or a hard white. I'm going to actually pull out both because the soft white is going to go on stronger than the hard white. But I just love a good hard white there. But we're going to use both. Oh, no, 1% remaining. How is that? I don't think I don't think my charger was plugged in last night. And I know who to blame for that. Not naming names, <clears throat> Rob. <laughs> but I have a feeling. All right, another one of my favorite colors that I use often is, in fact, this is all I have left. I need to get more. Um, this is the eggplant made by Terry Ludwig. It's a super dark purple. Love the purple, love the dark. Don't be scared of the dark, friends, okay? I think I pulled out enough colors. I'd probably pull out a few more as I go, but it's good to have a bunch of local colors started just so you have the ability to just lay it down okay so let us begin i'm going to start by um sketching this out now my shape of my paper is a lot more stretched out this is just one of the nine by tens cut in half i didn't feel like using a big paper so this is just the long one cut in half and i'm just going to start by sketching it out you know what i'll sketch in white for y'all for y'all doing the southern thing now all right i spy like maybe there's a road back here or something now here's the thing guys you don't have to copy the photo. We are not Xerox machines. We can do whatever we want. That's what I love about art. And that's what I love too about, you know, like Bob Ross, for example. We made a Bob Ross snowman. I just had to throw that out there. It's great. I posted a reel the other day. Go check it out. Um, yeah, he was all about happy accidents, right? Well, you know, maybe these are intentional accidents where I don't have to do certain things. So I'm making it how I want it. My line doesn't line up. That's okay. Oh, this is a lovely little archway back here. I do kind of like that. I don't want to make it too dominant because I want it to be all about the light on the tree. So remember, let me put my reference photo over here again. So we have a little, what looks like an archway. We have this beautiful tree with light. This is what got me to, um, this is what got me to choose this image right here. This light on the tree. Love it. All right, so we know there's going to be a tree going this way. There's going to be a bunch of trees going this way. I'm not going to worry about drawing these trees in yet. Oh, there's a big guy over here. He's going to live there. Okay, I'm not worrying about the trees yet. I want to put in everything else first, then put the trees on top. So <clears throat> I got magic paper, remember. Magic paper. All right, let's start putting in our background. Now, look at this background here, okay? We have cool purpley blues and mauvey, mushy, dirty, pinky type things, all that, right? There's a lot of stuff going on behind the trees. You have to see beyond the trees. Look beyond the trees. Okay. I don't even think I have that right color. 
I want to go for a dirty pink. I think that's number 204 in New Pastel. And friends, I only know like three or four numbers. I do not know all the numbers. Don't think I do. It just sounds like I do, but I'm being completely transparent. Can't even find it, to be honest. Oh, <laughs> my favorite color. Well, 244 is my favorite. I don't know. I can't find it. So I guess we're not going to use it. We're not using it today. I'm going to find a different color. This is 244. Now you can barely see it because it's against my dark bluish paper. But I'm just going to start by getting that in there. I like to use the side. Okay, we have to go a little bit later. I got to find that color I love. I refuse to use it without it. Maybe it's over in my pink area. Could be. Well, I found some other alternatives. There's always other alternatives. Now, a common thing I hear from students is, oh, well, I don't have the right color. Guess what? We all don't. No one ever has the right color. I don't care if you have like the 700 something set from Terry Ludwig. You do never, you never have the right color because colors change from one millimeter to another, right? They change every like two seconds. So you're never going to have the right color, but you can make the right color. You don't need to buy all the colors. You saw my box. That's, it seems like a lot of colors. It's really not. I mean, I have other pastels, but you don't have to have everything. Now back here, it looks weird right now. Yes, because I just started number one, but number two, you don't need to have all this crazy stuff going on back here because it's going to be in the background. It's going to be covered with a bunch of elements. Ooh, you know what? I want to get some blue back here. That's pretty. It's kind of like a like a Prussian blue or something. It's dark. It's dark. All right. If you're watching, comment where you are viewing from. Where are you from? Who are you? I want to see. I want to know. Because it is 717 here on the East Coast in America. Okay. I think I got enough sort of in the background. I want to go a little bit lighter. Very lightly skidding over it. I could use my finger, but I'm not going to because I want a dual purpose. I want a dual purpose blending and lightening. This is with kind of like a dirty pinky mauvey color. And I'm just going to even out this kind of like central aura I had going on. So I just want to kind of haze that out a smidge. And I'm doing that with a harder pastel by just lightly going on top. So that way I get that effect that's just kind of evening it out. Nevada. Oh, still daylight there, right? It's probably, well, I guess so. All right, let's get some blue back here. Ooh, that is some blue. And I know it's not that blue, but always start a little bit bolder because if you don't start as bold, you have a hard time getting that pop later. So get the pop now and calm it down at will. Let's see, let's go a little a little purple in there. Get crazy. You could always calm it down. You could always go back for seconds. Just like Thanksgiving meal. Now this rocky kind of wall thing, we, we have the ability to make it look a little bit more um, textured too. So I don't have to go in and, and do all the things. Let's go in with a little bit more of a a little bit more blue. Shmush, shmush. Our goal is to get things covered first, okay? I always find that paintings go through a stage where paintings, pasteling, drawing, everything goes through a stage. And it's like the pubescent stage of art. And you know what I'm talking about. It's that stage where you cannot stand your artwork. That stage where you're like, oh gosh, what am I doing? This is going to come out weird. But then it all pulls together and it looks great. So if you are not going past that pubescent stage of art, <laughs> if your artwork is just kind of at a, sta a standstill there, then reach out, comment below, do all the things. Um, I would love to get you in one of my Zoom classes and figure out, you know, how we can get you beyond that point. I love teaching. I love being able to guide people on how to do all the stuff. Okay. Using the side. Okay, just getting a little bit more color in there. Let's get a little purple. Helps to make sound effects when you do it. All right, over here, there's some little rocks. I'm not going to sit here and draw circles. That's what I don't want you to do. But what I do want you to do is think about, you know, where are their darks? Where are their lights? So instead of using the corner, I'm using what I call the magic edge. Let's look at something a little bit more square. 
So here we have a flat side. Here we have a flat side. Where those flat sides meet, that's the magic edge. Let's make it a color so you can see it. Okay, that's the magic edge. The magic edge is great because you can do lines, you could do strokes, all the fun stuff, right? Okay, now what I like to do is I like to kind of create the, the feeling of rocks by taking that magic edge and putting a line and then I'll just fling upwards. So I'm doing a line and then flinging upwards. So well, not like that, but that's how you can kind of get that feeling of rocks without actually having to like sit there and do circle, circle, circle. Cause that just looks fake. We don't want it to look fake. Let's get a little bit more. I'm going to pronounce this little tunnel thing a little bit more. I really am digging it. So it's all going to be covered with a big old tree though. So I don't want to get too wrapped up in it. And that's another common thing that I see is people will get um, so involved, like they'll draw the whiskers before they draw the cat, right? And we don't want to do that. We want to keep things just blocking in initially, and then you can go ahead and do all the fun stuff. Okay. You, if you're, if you're detail oriented, great. You do that after you plop it all in, right? Look at me. I'm over here trying to get details. Stop it, Andrea. Stop it. <laughs> okay. Let's move on from here and let's we'll start getting in some of our watery zone. We have this little boop and then the boop. That's how you're going to make it look like it's going back, right? Notice I'm using still that edge. It's flat. It's on the side. I'm going like back and forth. I'm not sitting there like a pencil. I'm not using charcoal pencils. I'm not using any of that. If you want to use that, go for it. I'm not here to judge. There's many ways to get to one place. There's many ways to get to California. I use that analogy a lot in when I teach just because I do it one way does not mean that it's the only way. You know, there's a lot of teachers that, you know, will do different things than me. And then <laughs> I find a lot of people will say, I do things the wrong way or the not right way. And they're like, you know what? Then, sorry, <laughs> don't look at me then. All right. Let's get in a little bit more dark here. This is the darks. Now I have a little bit more of a scrunched area here. Now granted, my paper is more stretched out. My image had to be a little bit more consolidated there. And it's not going to stay black. I'm just bookmarking in areas of color. That's all I'm doing right now. I'm just saying, hey, you know what, Andrea? Don't forget that there are some of these bright things here. You know, just like when you're writing a paper or like doing some sort of report, you got to make notes. You got to, you know, make those, take the highlighter out. Whatever you do, that's what you got to do. Just color plopping. That's a technical term in the Andrea world of art. Color plopping. All right. Let's get a little bit of that in there. There is a little something over here. We have a little gray happening here. You can't see that really because it's against my dark paper. Let's go ahead darker with some blue. Why not? There are so many colors happening here. Now, right now, this is like full blown pubescent oh my goodness i'm live i gotta salvage it that's what's going through my head and that's what's gonna go through every single artist's head and if it doesn't go through your head then i i mean you're just a prodigy then and i applaud you but <laughs> i can guarantee you it goes through everyone's head okay let's get in some of this this frondy stuff over here so just a quick recap boom there's our reference photo here we are in pubescent stage of artwork. Here we go. We're going to watch it develop. It's going to grow. It's going to be magical. When we put in those trees, oh, it's my favorite part. Favorite part. This has to be a little darker back here, just a smidge. Let's put in my 244. Where's my 244? Just get that in there. All right. I need to ground this little island here a little bit starting to get lost and that happens we're allowed to get lost all oh you know what we're not going to call it lost we're wanderers wanderers look i want to put the tree in no i can't yet no don't put the whiskers in before you draw the cat andrea all right let's just get a little oh that's a hideous green <laughs> let's use this green a little bit more natural it's not really what's in the picture but i like this green so much more and you know what if you like a green you put that green in we're gonna put this loud blue in down here and i want to show you why it's not gonna stay that loud but watch okay 
Look at that. What color is that? Right? That is like bluish purple. Don't be scared to make it crazy. You can always calm it down. I see people's artwork sometimes and they they just it's it, they get scared and they're like, no, I'm gonna make it just like brown or gray. I'm like, well, it's not. So <laughs> don't make it brown or gray. Trust what you see. And once you start to see things more, you're gonna see them more often. And then once you start to see things, it's all gonna come together. You just have to train your eye. And that is the most important part of art. It's not like, yeah, okay, it's partially doing it. But in order to do it, you have to see it. You have to see it correctly. And if you're not seeing it correctly, you can't do it correctly. Let's just plant this guy in here again. I like this tree. He's a big, happy tree. He's just hanging out. I kind of want this guy just, I'm just, all right, I'm starting. Starting just to kind of, he just wants to be placed in. He just wants an arm, guys. Uh, there. That's it. I promise. No more whiskers. <laughs> so I've plopped, right? I know I didn't plop my trees over here, but I've plopped. Now I have to go in and do everything else. Do all the, do everything. So let's start back here. We're going to work back around the foreground. I'm going to get in some of my little blue back here. A little choo-choo using the, the side. We can get a little bit more bright in some areas. Maybe there's a little bit more light to my rocks over here we have some more frondy fronds now what's nice about a round pastel i'm not using the edge i'm literally putting it flat like a tuna can on top and i'm just rubbing it around because i see some little hovering fronds i don't know what they really are i just like saying the word frond fronds frond all right Doo -doo 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 -doo. okay oh these are too horizontal let's make one frondy higher there, you're frondy. Okay, now we gotta make all these nice little liney things. So this pastel, you're gonna laugh at me, um, but <laughs> this pastel came in a set of like, what is it, like 50 or something like that. They are the cheapest, most ridiculous pastels. They're not anything fancy. Mungyo. Those of you in my classes, you know. You know the Mungyo. I should come up with a name. For you. you know the Mungyo. All right. I'm just lightly using the edge. Whenever you see my pinky kind of up, that means I have a very light pressure. All right. Sometimes I hop around a little. Bear with me. I do want to get a little bit of some of the blue on this tree. I spy blue. I also spy with my little eye. Ooh, Rembrandt purple. Why not? Let's get some of this bark in here. Sometimes if I go a little overboard, I'll just take like the side of something and just graze over it. Like use that magic edge and just go boop right on top. All right, he's he's marinating. We're not ready to go further with him, but we are ready to do a couple lines with our cream color. Now this is the new pastel. Um, now granted, I used a lot of soft, not a lot, but I used some soft pastel underneath. And guess what? I have magic paper. I can use my hard pastels on top pretty easily. Frondy fronds. Now I'm not sitting here being specific. I'm not sitting here with any of my pastel pencils. I don't even know where they are right now. I think they're over there. But anyhow, you can be very um, particular with the tip of your new pastels. I love the Mung Yo ones. They blend things so nicely. I just love it. All right, let's get a couple little lines in here. Let's go in with some more brights happening. I gotta go in with some darks. Let's go in, what's this guy? He looks kind of fun. Of course my iPad's gonna die. I'll have to switch it from my phone. All right, sometimes I just very lightly skid over the flat side with a soft, just to kind of give it a very like hazy edge, just like what I did with the fronds up top. But then I'll go back in with a hard actually, and just put some lines, just some very loose lines. Sometimes I'll twist my pastel like this and I'll work that way. Okay, let's jump to the other side for the moment. Um, I just wanna plant these trees in just to get them in. I'm actually going to use my 244 for the moment just to, so it's a little less scary. 
because it's not a super dark color like my other tree over there. Just need to have something in. Barely see it probably. And that's all right. You'll see it once I add light and everything. This has to be a little bit of water back here. Where's my black? There you are. All right, where's my white? Where are you? There you are. Okay, we got this one tree coming up. You're gonna live there. Now, like I said, you can barely see that. This is more for just like a, a less stressful way for me to plant in where some of these trees are gonna live. We got a big guy coming out and over. I like you. You're gonna live there. You have a friend. Look at you, big tree person over here. Then there's these other ones. I just love how they kind of all radiate outwards. Now, once I start getting in a little bit more detail here and here, obviously this needs more, more work, but it's all gonna start to come together. Cause right now it's still in that like uh, stage. So we will get there. You have to have patience. You have to see and trust yourself with the vision of how things are going to get pulled off. Pulled together. We can do this. Okay, I'm going to amp it up. I'm going to use um, a little bit of a darker pastel for some of these darks over here. That's my Terry Ludwig. That one's just a little too soft for my liking at the moment. Where is... Oh, here it is. They get so dirty. <laughs> like, where is it? Okay, the light looks like it's coming from the left, so our... Our shadow over here. The shadow lines, you don't want it to look too um, perfect. You don't want the line to be this like, you know, perfect outline. You want it to kind of go away. You want it to come back. It's all going to come together once we get that nice golden glow. Once again, here we go. Here's my reference. Okay, look at all that light I have to put on still. So much light that has to happen. So much light. All right. Let there be light. I spy this fun little like brushy thing over here. I just had to put it in. I like, I see it over here too, actually. Um, this is a great color. Uh, I don't even know what kind of pastel this is, but I'm just not picky when it comes to stuff. Like, yeah, I, I like archival. Nice. You know, I love the unisons. I love the Terry Ludwigs, but sometimes like I, I had some people bring in some pastels that they didn't want anymore in class. And like, they were just like older pastels and they, they were wonderful. Like why, why say no, right? But this guy's a good one. He's a winner. He wants to be light. Bam. Let's let there be light. It's going to be much lighter than that too. Um, I definitely see some orange tones on some of these guys. Some of them have a little bit more yellow, so we got to build up our brights. And then there's a lot more clusters that need to happen in here. Let's go in with some, I don't know what color this is. This looks like a nice one, though. It's like a marigold. We'll call it marigold. A little bit of light there. Bam. These are just our main trunks. We haven't even put all their appendages on yet. Maybe a little here. Maybe he has a friend coming up. He needs a shadow side. Some, so sometimes I'll draw with light. Sometimes I'll draw with a shadow. It just depends on what am I feeling? What do we got going on here? Okay. We're going to just put a couple little, little friends in here just to eat up this space. It's too bland. No one has little stringy things going on. We got to string it all up. A lot of stuff happening. So that's my cream. I'm going to go back in with a dark here too. Let's get in some of these little tendrils. It's like the Michelangelo. They're reaching towards each other. Oh. These are the things that I think about when I uh, work alone in my studio without a class watching. Um, I just, this is, this is what I think about. Um, now, obviously, you all, you all are watching, but no one's here physically with me, so I, I just kind of feel like I'm alone, and these are the things I think about. I'm just, now I'm just vocalizing them out loud instead of in my head, so it's all good. 
All right, let's get a little bit more going on. A little bit there. Can't wait to do this water. I can't even like stand looking at it right now. And that's okay. We're allowed to have feelings. Okay, lovely little branch here. We got this guy here, little pebbles on the side. All right, let's go back in with some warmth. We want some warmth. Sometimes I'll use just the side to kind of get a little bit more of a um, feeling of little twiggy tendrils. This is that tuna can khaki color. Things go in front of branches. You got to be open to putting branches in front of branches. It's all about layering. That's what's going give, to start giving it that busy forest vibe. Let's see. Let's get a little bit of my Terry in there, a little purple. So hard to make thin lines with this. Let's see how thin I can go. Whoa. You have to have the lightest touch because it's such a soft pastel. I feel like you want some heavier darks here, bud. This big tree. It's like, I'm carrying a lot of weight. I'm going to fall down. <laughs> There you go, buddy. I got you. All right. Looks like there's something in the water. Maybe there's a log in the water. All right. A couple little Terry Ludwig pops of dark here and there. <sighs> Push too hard, it's going to just crumble, which I just happened. Okay. We're going to go back to that in a second. Hold on. I see a little bit more. A couple little, oh, pushed a little hard there. <laughs> a couple little light spots I want to just capture. Oh, and you need a little bit of a shadow, don't you, mister? Yeah, you know, we're just going to stay over here because I see a lot of light lights now over. Big, long branches. That white is too cool. I need my cream. That's what I meant to grab. Cream. Notice all my lines. I'm going from how it grows outwards. So I'm not just starting in the middle of thin air and coming in. I'm going out from the tree branch and I'm going in all different directions. Maybe there's one kind of over here. Maybe it's kind of tendralizing. Maybe this one fell. Okay. A little bit of frondy stuff there. See how that's coming together with the light and the dark, right? So, um, let's just start establishing down here a little bit more because it's, it's bothering me. And that's when I know like to, to move on to another area because if it's bothering you, you know, maybe take a break from one, give it your eye a rest from it and work elsewhere. So now we have to put in all these little bright spots. So there's a lot of lights. I love this. There's this one um, reflection that's really like strong right from here. Make sure you have it in your world. Can't put a reflection if you don't have the actual tree in your world, right? So that's always a, a key element to, to keep in mind. Now I'm drawing these in down. I'm going in a downwards fashion for the moment. For the moment. There's a lot of stuff going on. I gotta watch with my yellow. The yellow tends to be a little, can turn green real fast. Let's go around this piece of ice. Okay. So if you're interested, I actually start my Zoom class next Monday, Monday from 1230 to 3 Eastern time. It's always recorded, but you can chime in live, follow along with me. It's going to be just like this, broken down into step-by-steps. You can find that information on my website, agillustration.com. Um, and I would love for you to join us. So once again, blocking in just this bottom area right now for the moment. Let's get a little bit more blue in here. Let's pull down a smidge. Yes, I'm using my fingers. Oh my goodness. What's going to happen to me? Nothing. <laughs> okay. Let's pull a little bit more light. So I see a little bit more of a kind of periwinkly vibe there. A little bit more light here. Now this is a hard pastel. So it is actually simultaneously blending as well. But I'm going to make this look way more watery with something in just a second. I'm just trying to get all my colors in before I start. Let's get our ice in. 
a little bit of ice there. Even ice has a little tiny shadowy zone. Okay, a little bit of ice here. Boop, 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 boop. All right, I'm squinting my eyes. I know you guys can't see my eyes, but I, I squint to see the values. If you don't have the values correct, things will not be good. I mean, they could be good, but, you know, sometimes they're not good. This is a little bit more of a softer color. Just a couple little boops here and there. Okay. Let's do some sideways action. I'm going to take my Periwinkle Hard Pastel. Okay. Now, it's not as dominant in the photo, but I love doing this for water. I'm taking that, once again, that magic edge. And I'm going back and forth super light. See the pinkies up. That means it's light. Back and forth, here and there, not everywhere. I'm kind of like going down and up, like um, that. <laughs> I brought it up in my class today. I didn't know what it's called. Um, not the guillotine, but like it's like a big blade that comes down. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Anyway, that's what my brain goes to. Some sort of torture device. Anyhow, back and forth, or like a train, <laughs> train that's kind of hopping. It's, I'm lifting it, I'm putting it down, I'm lifting it, I'm putting it down, but it's starting to act a little bit more like, like a sheen on the water. Oh, my dog is snoring down there. She loves just sleeping in front of the, the heater. I moved her bed there. She loves it. Now, you could also do it with a heart, with a, um, a darker color, too. Maybe like, a, let's take this gray. Some areas might be like a little too pronounced. You could just go over it. You know, you could pull back down. There are just so many options that you can do. So now that I have everything kind of in that second, like finagled plop phase, now I'm going to go in and, you know, you can leave it at any stage you want. But I know that when I look at it from a distance, which is how I'm looking at it now, um, not obviously in real life. I'm looking at the screen you guys are over there. There's my demo. I'm looking at it on my computer screen. And it's like looking at it from a distance, which is fantastic. That means I don't have to get up. I just see it shrunk down. Now, in your world, you can do the same thing. You can actually take photos of your artwork. And it's like, like seeing it shrunken down because it is shrinking itself down. Um, it used to be a reducing lens that people would get. But now we can easily just use our phone and be good to go couple little darks right where this little blue bank kind of touched the water maybe there's a little bit here irregular edges nothing has to be perfect here if this is light this has to have a little bit of light and it's always going to be like the opposite angle wait did i do that right i don't i think i did it wrong it's okay don't tell anyone um <laughs> shh, don't tell anyone here there's going to be a little dark here maybe there's a little bit of little khaki. I have to think about what's in my world. Like I'm looking at the reference. Don't rely on it. Remember, we're, we're not Xerox machines. This is going this way. Maybe there's a little reflection going this way. Okay. We have to think about things like that. Now I'm going to take the white now and I'm going to pretend there's little bits of ice kind of floating around. This is not in the reference photo, but it's going to help bring that watery, icy, cold, whatever to life a little bit more. And this is where we take it from not just a photograph, but into our own realm. Like, what else do we want? Maybe you want to push some areas a little darker. Maybe you want to push some areas a little bit lighter. Maybe you want to bump up that light source even more. Maybe you want like a little like turtle or something somewhere. I don't know. It's your, it's your world. You do whatever you want. I just want to break up some of these big shapes there. So um, this tree, he's like, he's, not, he's feeling a little unloved. He needs a little more love. Let's get a little bit of this purple in. And we're going to go back in with this crazy blue. Let's go in with this blue. This is like, whoa. This is crazy blue. He wants a little love up here. Yes, he does. All right. And a little bit of some super dark to make our blue stand out. He's got an arm coming out. The arm wants some blue on it. Forgot to do that. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. So, I think we are almost at that point. I want to break this guy up with a couple other highlighted branches that are just coming in. Like, hey, I want it on the picture. Okay. Hold your horses. These frondy things are getting a little overgrown. 
maybe a couple are more pronounced. It's not this way in the picture. I don't care. This is what I want. The cattails, maybe there's cattails now. I like the cattail element. All right, what are you guys thinking? Is it looking okay? You guys tell me. Is there anything I should add? <clears throat> okay, let's so make sure you head on over to my website. If you are not on my email list, make sure you do that. Go over to agillustration.com and on the bottom of my homepage, there is a little, you know, sign up for um, the email list. There you will find some um, random emails I'll send out about some classes and whatnot that I have coming up here and there. Um, also, if you want a free pastel demo as well, make sure that you sign up for my art exclusive text club. I don't really text that often with it, but it is the information should be. I know it's on my website, so you can just go to my web website and find it. It's under a, it's under somewhere. I forget somewhere on my website. But anyhow, you would text the word art to 908-224-0075, and I will hook you up. So definitely make sure you check that out. I will put all of that everywhere. Doo -doo -doo -doo. You can just go crazy with these these branches, and the branches don't even like this one's not even attached to anyone. Like, I don't, even, I don't know whose branch this is. And it's okay. Our brains know. They know that they're attached to something. I really like this color. This is a nice golden color. I kind of want to put him in some spots. I like you. Maybe over here is a little more pop. Maybe something's getting hit with light over here. I don't know. Okay. So I think that might wrap up our little our little demo here. Um, if there is something in particular that you learned tonight watching, please put it in the comments. I would love to know if you picked up on anything or what your favorite part was, or it could be any fun fact. It could be what your favorite color is, anything. Throw it in the comments. Okay, so let's take a look. Let's go down real close. Super close, just a bunch of marks, lights and darks. That's all it is. Okay. Now let's look at it compared to the reference photo before my iPad dies. So super different. Okay, very different. You know what? I don't have as much warmth here, but that's okay. Like, I'm all right with that. Um, you know, there's a lot going on, especially with the scrunched, scrunched little area there. But super fun to do. I highly recommend checking out that landscape photos for artists Facebook group. Um, and uh, that's about it. So once again, head on over to I should have I should have already had one ready to go. I'm just gonna hold up my card. All right, here we go, friends. Head on over to AG. <laughs> Where am I? There I am. Head on over to agillustration.com. Is that trying to blurry? It's got to focus. There we go. Um, agillustration.com. And make sure that you check out my art exclusive club. Um, text the word art to 908-224-0075. And make sure that you sign up for my email list. So I have my Zoom class, which is a six-week Zoom class starting on Monday. You can head on over to classes and check that out. It's called Create and Inspire. I would love to see you there. Um, and I will have some one-day workshops available with my... Um, I, um, I will, I will have some one-day workshops available for Tuesday evening. So if that's something that you're interested in, comment below as well. Other than that, thank you so much for joining me tonight. And... Uh, have a great Tuesday. And if you're on the East Coast where I am, stay dry, stay safe. See you soon. Bye.